Today we turn away from current events for a bit of a distraction. Today I wanted to address a funny little video that popped up on my YouTube recommendations. Divorce Why by Candid Mommy showed up in my feed a few days ago. I thought it was recommended maybe because I've watched a few other women's vlog channels. But apparently a lot of people have been recommended this disgusting video over the last month or so, even though it's almost two years old. If you look at the comment section, there are scores of people complain about this drivel being recommended to them. Well, if YouTube wants to suggest shit like this, then I think it's worthy of a review. Let's take a look at why Candid Mommy got divorced. Hey guys, um, this video is very impromptu. Impromptu is code for, I'm not prepared for this video, it's going to be a rambly mess. I was not planning on making a video today on this, or really anytime soon, but it's been something that I've been thinking about for quite some time. Here's some of my initial observations. First, there's like five doors behind her there. Not a big deal, it just seems weird, I, I, I don't know. Next, look at her. Already about to cry before this video even starts? Who turns on the camera and films right before they're about to cry? That's just bizarre. Either she's faking it, or she's a really emotional attention whore. Just saying. And the reason I wanna do this is, and, and, and the reason I've been contemplating doing this for so long, even though I said I'd never do it, is because I feel like it would help more people than it could possibly like, you know, hinder me in the future. Yeah, right. You're not sharing this divorce story for some noble cause. You're not doing this to help people. You're doing it for views and easy cash. And you're probably also a narcissist. Now let's fast forward to the story. Cut to the chase, lady. It was like the middle of Drake's pregnancy. I noticed some weird, weird behavior from my ex and Weird in the sense that like, you know, he'd get home and he'd go use the bathroom for an hour, just like be in the bathroom for an hour. Um, just, you know, odd behavior, but nothing that I thought too much of. But he was like a little off. He was a little jittery, he was a little off. Okay, he used the bathroom and was a little jittery. Probably because he was about to have a second child. Regardless, the husband hasn't really done anything bad so far. And as, as time had gone on, I started to note like we were, we were really financially struggling and at that time I had a great job, he had a great job, we shouldn't have been, but his checks were, you know, a little bit less and less and less and I was trying to do more and more to like pick up the slack and I, again, I didn't think anything of it because I thought that, you know, he was just putting his, his checks in the bank. And we got our first red flag for Candid Mommy. You see, this is the real reason she started to worry about her husband. She wasn't getting enough of his money. The bathroom time and jittery stuff was just bullshit prefacing. She didn't want to sound like a greedy bitch and start with the money complaints. But that's where this is going. Don't be fooled. And shortly after that time, it kind of evolved into a really hot temper. And to where everything made him snap and just flip out and yell and scream. I actually remember having a birthday. I was pregnant. I was with Deacon in the bathtub and I was just hysterically crying because he had just completely flipped out on us about nothing. About nothing? I seriously doubt that. You see how she lights up and smiles as she remembers the story? And I actually remember having a birthday. She thinks she's making this great point because she remembers this one time she was crying in the shower. And she conveniently doesn't even bring up the reasons why they were fighting. She could have started this fight. Who knows? And what does this say about you, candid mommy? You think everyone should pity you because your husband is evil and made you cry in the shower? The way I see it, you're weak and hyper-emotional. You don't have enough strength and self-control to not cry in the shower like a little baby so um i i have a horrible memory horrible memory <laughs> but i do remember a few things and that was that was one of them specifically i just remember trying to like hide my face in the shower curtain and now we've got red flag number two i've met a few girls who've said they have horrible memories and not only is that usually true they don't remember a lot of things but they also selectively remember some things details that help support their narrative like how this bitch remembers crying in the shower but she conveniently doesn't remember why she was fighting with her husband in the first place probably because that can make her look bad she might have started the fight or said something really mean to him so really her horrible memory is a selective memory she selectively remembers things that make her ex look bad and make her look good fast forward up a little bit to drake's to Drake's birth and at the birth I remember my birth videographer because I had a videographer say that when she was editing the video she couldn't find any she had like no clips with him in it because he wasn't like he wasn't really there and 
while he was there, he was short and snippy and, like, yelling at people and just an asshole, to put it nice. Like, just a complete jerk. Hiring a videographer for when you give birth says a lot about you, mommy. Narcissist confirmed. As for the dad being short and angry at the birth... Yeah, it's a stressful time. He's having a second kid with this whiny bitch of a woman. I'll give him a pass for being stressed on that day. You're lucky he was there at all. Husbands don't really need to be at births. It's nice of them, but it's not necessary. Let's let the professional doctors handle it. We moved to be closer to his work and um, to save some money because at that time I had I had quit my job to become a stay-at-home mom because financially it just kind of... it. It almost made more sense. Oh, you're quitting your job while your husband works seven days a week? Sounds like a real horrible guy. We did that. Um, things started getting suspicious. He started hiding his phone. Things were very, very strange for a while. And again, with the abuse and things like that, blah, blah, blah. So. And when she says he abused her, she means verbal abuse. They argued. I'm sure it went both ways, too. He was giving Deacon a bath. And he got mad at Deacon and I was doing the dishes or something. And I looked down the hallway and Deacon's sitting in the hallway so soaking wet, naked, just screaming. And I'm like, what is going on? He's like, he's splashed. Like, are you kidding me? Um, a lot of that kind of stuff. A lot. I really don't know what to make of that story. Just another one-sided anecdote to make her ex look bad. Um, okay, so where am I at? Um... Like I said, this is very spur of the moment, and I have a horrible memory. Um, my mom and my sister and my grandma all do too, so it's it's like a hereditary bad memory thing. I bet you're hereditarily a bitch too. Mama taught you well. But really, why make a video like this if you have a bad memory? Doesn't sound like a good idea. At least jot down some notes or something, because right now you've just rambled for seven minutes. Your husband was jittery, you wanted more of his money, and you yelled and fought a few times. Sounds like normal bumps in a marriage for me. Come on, what did he really do that was so bad? The suspense is killing me. Actually, if I if I can go back for just a second, I had called him out on the money because he basically worked a completely commissioned job and he would get a draw and it was like a kind of like a salary in a way and then anything above and beyond it would be his like commission check. Here we go. Let's get into the money then. Sounds like we're getting more details about the husband's money than the actual fights they had. Well, all of a sudden his draws started becoming less and less. And money became a very, very hot topic. I remember I was returning things to Costco, the unopened items, just so I could buy, like, produce and fruits and vegetables and things like that. So, for quite some time, it was really, I mean, it was really bad. Aw, poor thing. Your sugar daddy isn't paying you enough. What an asshole. I sat down with him and I talked about it and he told me that he had a pill problem. Now we've got a pill problem. Our first actual problem with the husband. Seems like the guy's not that bad off yet though. He's still working full time and supporting a family. Well, it had gotten out of control. He had been withholding large sums of money from his paychecks and in addition to that, getting money from like payday loan places. Oh, and I love how she says he was withholding part of his own checks. Withholding from her, I'm sure. I guess in her world, the husband is supposed to just fork over all his money to the wife so she can spend it. Nigga, please. Um, but I found this substance in his wallet. And at this point, I mean, things had gotten so ugly. Nosy bitch. What are you doing looking through his wallet? So she goes on and on over explaining the simplest thing. Basically, she found out her husband started doing meth. Sucks, but it's not really the end of the world yet. The thing is, this girl is so square, she sees any drugs as crossing the line. No second chances with this bitch. And now, I mean, I can talk for like another 10 hours about this topic. No, 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 no. Please don't. For the love of God, show mercy. The reason I'm doing this video is not to badmouth my ex. I've been diligent about not making him look like the person that he is. I think shit talking your husband is exactly why you made this video. That and you wanted attention in YouTube cash. But I feel like it might help somebody. Somebody who might be you know, living with somebody who's dealing with these same things, um, to know that 
it's okay to leave. I mean, you have to get to a point where you make a decision that's best for your family. I think you made the decision that was best for you. Your family could probably use a father. A stronger woman would have stood behind an addict and tried to help him get clean. That's about all I can take from this whingy cunt. Just imagine being this woman's poor ex-husband. First his wife leaves him because he's having a rough patch in his life. Now he's probably busting ass paying her child support and alimony. And what's she doing with her life now? She's sharing the details of their divorce with over 4 million people on YouTube. YouTube. What a bitch. Before we go here, let's address the elephant in the room. Or should I say, the elephant nose in the room. That nose job needs some work, Candid Mommy. Damn. Hopefully all that YouTube cash you're getting from exploiting your family will help. But it's gonna be real awkward when those kids grow up and see what a whiny attention whore mommy is. I sure hope we can hear that father side of the story one day. Because we all know a woman would never admit the divorce was her fault to begin with. They'll always find some reason. Verbal abuse, money problems, he drank too much. Any excuse to get out and get those sweet alimony checks. She'll be jumping on a new dick within a month. I feel sorry for the next guy though. Be careful, buddy. I know she is cute, but as we can see, she's willing to share anything on YouTube. Watch what you do and say around her for sure. Well, until next time, be easy everybody. One more thing, I thought of another reason this video is getting recommended to everyone. Apparently YouTube has been suggesting longer videos more lately. And since Candid Mommy rambled on for 26 boring ass minutes, YouTube is recommending it. 26 minutes is 4 minutes longer than an episode of Family Guy by the way. Or any 30 minute show for that matter. Anyways, I'm going to try and get this review video recommended for being longer. So I'm adding an extended blank screen at the end of this video. This is the real end here. No need to continue watching. But if you want to help, you could slap a like on the video and just leave it playing in your browser for the whole 30 minutes. If not, that's cool too. Either way, thanks for watching everybody. Good night.
One, two, three, four. Get your booty on the floor. You gotta gotta get up to get down. You gotta gotta get up to get down. <laughs>